Hello and welcome back. For those of you who may be tuning in for the first time, I just want to point out the reason there's nothing going on back here is because we were in the process of moving. So all of the shelves that had all of the stuff that everybody always usually likes to look at in the background are missing. Yeah. It's all gone for, for now. So we're sitting in an empty room basically, but we are trying to be vigilant with our videos. Mm -hmm. So here we are. All right, David. This is Miss Lady Pop Hunter. Is she pretty? She's adorable. And what we're doing here today is literally basically the best of the worst of Funko Pops 2017, which is a top 10 list. Mm -hmm. It could easily be a top 50 list because they made like 2,000 items. Yeah, and, and the majority year. of them were bad. About half of them. Oh, <laughs> really? But yeah. these are the ones that people complained about the most uh as far as we know okay. and of course you know you may have a different opinion on it and if you have anything that you think should be added to the list you can go ahead and put it down below mm -hmm. and what we're going to start off with is this one this lovely blue lady who i believe is from the star wars animated series and this is ayla and a lot of people weren't too happy when ayla came out can you see why well i know at the top the head up in there well, actually, the problem is her stomach. Oh, that's not an uh, outfit. That's no, her that's her skin. Blue. That oh. is her skin. Okay. Uh, her, 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 her stomach wasn't painted. Oh. It was supposed to be blue. Mm -hmm. And Funko, they were like, whatever, Star Wars fans, Funko Pop fans, they won't notice. No. Yes, they did. They did notice. And this apparently made a lot of Star Wars pop collectors very upset. Mm, I would have been upset. From the headpiece there, you can see the yeah, it's not vinyl. glued on there very well. Yeah, when you not, see it, it doesn't up. look seamless. I, I wouldn't have noticed that because I don't know the character, I thought sure. that was the outfit. Yeah, and you see her little belly button. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, and uh, and of course, this is in no particular order. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the Captain America 2017 Summer Convention exclusive. Mm -hmm. But that's not Captain America. That is Bucky disguised as Captain America. How do and you know that? That's the problem. Not only do they not specify that that's Bucky on the packaging, all right, mm -hmm. but all they did was repaint the Cole's 70th anniversary or 75th anniversary Captain America. But how America. did you know the other one wasn't Captain America? I guess you just had to know, but that is Bucky. That is Bucky in a Captain America disguise, oh. but they never specified, and all they did was repaint the Coles mold, anyways. Oh, I and so people are like, that. Jesus, you know, you could have done something to make it a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, look, everybody, it's Bucky instead of just painting the white parts black. Very lazy mm -hmm. on the part of Funko. Mm -hmm. It is true. Next is the oh, dog hand. Dog yes, and this made a lot of people angry because yeah. of the obvious reason. At least all three of them are in a different pose, mm -hmm. same head, different physical poses, but they messed up with the chase stickers. Yeah, I heard about that. the The one that's showing as a common is actually the chase, and the two chases are supposed to be the commons or something. Well, no, there's supposed to be two chases. Oh. And one of the chases did not get the chase sticker. Mm -hmm. They put it on the common instead. Yeah. And by that logic, basically all three of them could technically be chases because two of them are available with or without chases. This mm. is how it's supposed to look. This is Funko's uh, photograph. Oh, okay. This is how it's supposed to look, but that's not quite how it worked out. Mm -hmm. And Valerian didn't do well at the box office anyways. It was just the wrong timing for it. It's an interesting film, mm -hmm. wrong timing, and they kind of knew that it was getting kind of reboting so they said hey what can we do to make this character a little more interesting mm -hmm. let's give it two chases and screwed it up because um, the, the production was too quick mm. so this one is a speed error yeah. they rushed it through next stranger things mm -hmm. 11 mm -hmm. and it's like well what's wrong with that apparently this is the season two 11 mm -hmm. Who was never seen with egos the entire season? Oh, I know when it first came out, 
she had the egos. Yes. And then they came out with the egos again. So I was like, well, what's the point in that? Um, I didn't follow it, so I didn't really care. Sure. But I remember it when it first came out that she had egos and I think a nightgown on or something. I don't know. Yeah, she's in the hospital or something. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a hospital gown. Mm -hmm. But the this is laziness. Yeah. But and not only that, but it's one of those things where you look at it and you say, Hey, Funko, does do any of you guys actually watch the show? Because they would have <clears> known <throat> that she didn't have egos in the second season because everybody who watches the show apparently knew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah. why does she have that? Oh, okay. Well they weren't paying attention. You know, just cranking out products. Just cranking out products fast as they can. Mm -hmm. Next Oh yeah, that was Next was the was New York sorry. Comic Con 2017 Foot Soldier exclusive. Mm -hmm. And this goes under the category of laziness. Yeah, just because painting it different colors. All they did was make it different colors and make them all limited. Mm -hmm. The 500 pieces. 500 pieces each. And you can find many, many sets of them on eBay. Yeah, because when we went <laughs> to the uh, toy show right after the Comic Con, they had Somebody them. had like two, three sets of those. Yeah. And they were selling for like over a hundred dollars for the whole set. It was over. Yeah, it was like three twenty-five or something yeah. for the set. So it's like, but, why, why did you want to pay that much for an eight-bit foot soldier, just different color? And I kind of get it in a way because it's like, okay, when you play the classic video game from the eighties, mm -hmm. or I think it was the late eighties, mm -hmm. but you um. The, the foot soles would change color on different levels. Right. And so that was the idea. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how well that translates to an entirely new line that they had no, not very much leeway. Well, right? I'm not a fan of the 8-bit line. I think sure. the entire 8-bit line could have been... Um, Better. Well, no, it could have been on this worst of list. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, I mean, I just I didn't see any 8-bit... <laughs> That I thought oh was cool. Yeah. Okay. Some people like him. Yeah. Next. Oh yeah, Olaf. Olaf with kittens. <laughs> Which it's funny because although some people have said that that's actually the best Olaf, I've heard they're that. They're sick of Olaf. Yeah, I've heard that that's the best Olaf. And it's it's only the best Olaf because of the kittens. And yeah. many many people when this was announced said in the uh, comment section mm -hmm. on Facebook. Can we just get the kittens? Or can you make them separate? No. This is what you get. And it's like you've got frozen stuff on clearance everywhere, mm -hmm. but you want to pump, pump another Olaf out. Yeah. And they were just burned out at this point on Olaf. Next is the weaponized Rick Chase. Not the regular edition. The chase people were disappointed with. Oh, because all they did was open up his mouth. Yeah, all they did was put well, put a different mouth paint. And yeah. so, once again, lazy. They wanted to crank out a chase right mm -hmm. away. What can we do that's easy and quick and won't cost anything? Mm -hmm. we'll, uh, we'll give him a new mouth sticker, basically. <laughs> and that's what you got. At least he has a mouth. Yeah. You know, a lot of the pops don't have mouths. No. It gets old. But, uh, yeah, they were just disappointed in how lazy... The chase was on mm. this version. Rocket Raccoon. This is the GameStop exclusive mm -hmm. Rocket Raccoon. Mm -hmm. And can you guess why? I know you're not familiar with this one. No. You ready? Mm -hmm. There's the regular one. Oh. It's the exact <laughs> same figure. It, All they did. It put the little fire under them. They took the fire out. Yeah. And made it an exclusive for GameStop. It's exactly the same. There's no variation except that they pulled the flame from his jetpack out and put him on a stand. It's and, about as bad as the Star Lord one. Yeah, and it's like, well, hey, it, why couldn't you've made the flame one the exclusive? Yeah. Or done something different with this raccoon? All you say, oh, we need something for GameStop real quick. Oh, it's just, we'll pull this off. They won't know the difference. Yes, they will. <laughs> if people won't know the difference, then they shouldn't make exclusives if they feel that yeah. way. Yeah. You know, I mean, if that's going to be your thought pattern, oh, nobody will tell the difference. Yeah. Then why make an exclusive? And the one with the rocket planes was a popular one. Yeah. 
I mean, that one looks cool. That looks sure. like it should be an exclusive. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. they got it bass backwards, yeah. as, as the saying goes. Next is the, uh, the Tiffany, Tiffany the Bride of Chucky Tiffany, mm -hmm. and the problems with the chase. This one mm -hmm. is the Funko production photo. Those are prototypes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now look at the one that was actually released. Oh, that's just a little little bit of paint. Yeah, there's the blood splatter didn't take. And rather than redoing the process <laughs> or fixing it, they went ahead and packaged them and shipped them anyway. And it looks like dirty Tiffany instead of bloody Tiffany. <laughs> And not only that, but they messed her hair up, too. You see she has black roots, yeah. like in the movie, but it didn't take on the paint on oh, her hair either. Gray. It looks great. It's like old woman. <laughs> it's like cougar T <laughs> Tiffany. I'm, I'm 55 trying to find me a young man. I dyed my hair, but my face is dirty. <laughs> uh, that's what it looks like. And people uh, were really disappointed in this. So like, hey, why is there? what happened to the blood splatter? What did you do to her hair? They were really disappointed with that. Mm. Well, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one yes. was useless. This was Funko's attempt, as you know, uh, to bad. make a connection. Because mm -hmm. this tied in with an episode of The Walking Dead. Well, they wanted to tie in. They wanted the it to tie episode. in. But rather than do a little bit of re-sculpting, mm -hmm. To make the characters look the way they did in the episode, they just took two that they already made two comics. and threw them together into a two pack for books yeah. and said, Because you know what? The pop, uh, the fanatics, mm -hmm. they won't know the difference. They don't watch the show. Or maybe people at Funko don't watch the show because what's wrong with it? It's too common. What sh how should it have looked? Negan should have had on the white t-shirt mm -hmm. with the plate of biscuits or the spaghetti. And Carl should have had um, a missing eye. Yeah, this is a younger Carl anyway. Yeah. It's not even the right age. Either have the eye patch or the missing eye. Yeah. Because Negan made him made take, him take the, it uh, off. patch off of his eye. Yeah, he didn't have it on the whole episode. Mm -hmm. And uh, also Negan was cleanly shaven. Because mm -hmm. he took a he he shaved. He shaved and, he was, and cleaned himself up. Took the jacket off. Yeah. Yeah. He had a white t shirt. And he didn't even have the kerchief. They didn't look anything like that. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, Hey. That was that, that was, was very, very lazy <laughs> of Funko. Was. Oh that, that number was, ten. Oh, that needed to be on there. Yeah. The Ursula. And it was a tie because a lot of people didn't like the Snow White. Oh, I like the Snow White. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't care for the Snow White too oh. much. However, the Ursula is the one. And this is a photograph I took, and you can see it. Mm -hmm. The paint is terrible yeah. on this figure. <laughs> I saw the um, custom Ursula. Yeah. And it looked good. It looked really good. And um, That's custom, though. Yeah, somebody took their time and actually painted it. Funko just took the spray paint machine. Oh, sure. But they didn't even dial it in well, I guess, you know, because she's, it's patchy and it's got globs. It's overdone. And, yeah. It's, and you can see all the spaces around her eyes. It yeah, didn't get close enough to her eyes. Yeah, and the lipstick looked like it's on the teeth. And yeah, it, this one was a mess. They, they that really, one was awful. And it's still sitting in Hot Topic. Yeah, it is. Fortunately, the uh, later ones they've done better with, like they the, have. the Dumbo that the you got. The Dumbo was really good. Mm -hmm. And um, I got the Snow White, and yeah. those are the only two, I think, yeah, of better, diamonds. Much better think. painting. Yeah, they did a lot better. So at least they learned their lesson. Mm -hmm. And I have an honorable <laughs> mention, and that is the Hulk. And that is, for me, this is an honorable mention, mm -hmm. or number 11, if you want to go over the thing. A testimony to being lazy and poor quality. Yeah. Because, like... More than half of these apparently arrived or shipped damaged. Mm -hmm. And if you got one that's intact, congratulations. congratulations. You're one of the select few. 
everybody, everyone else had to contend with a broken one. Yeah, even at Goodwill, the broken one is thirty dollars. <laughs> I know we saw that. Yeah, we were at Goodwill. They had two of them donated by uh, somebody. No, Toys R Us. I mean, not sorry, Toys R Us. Target donates their uh, mm -hmm. their returns to Goodwill. Yeah, and I've seen. And, um, we well, we seen three, but two of them we saw were thirty dollars. Yeah, I've seen it a couple. And it of was times. broken. They were all broken. <laughs> And the box was damaged. They were all broken, and the boxes looked awful. I was but this like, is... oh, my God. And, you know, the consensus is, of course, hey, you know, I could just glue that, but I shouldn't have to. Yeah, you Funko. shouldn't have to. I not mean, for that price point. I would glue it if I broke it. <laughs> sure. But I'm not going to buy it broken and then say to myself, oh, I'll just glue it. Yeah. Now, if it was already used... You know, because I bought used things that were broken and mm -hmm. I fixed it. But I'm not going to buy something that's supposed to be brand new and pay brand new price for it and then go home and have to fix it. Yeah. So I, don't, I don't think that's... I found that to be very disappointing. Yeah, the I had, thought that's... The way they had handled that. Mm -hmm. and, and then gave you, what, a $10 coupon or something? Did they give you a coupon? I don't know. I don't I, think so. Not, yeah, I don't think so. You're thinking of something uh, yeah, else. Yeah, it was something else at the Funko shop. Yeah, you're thinking of the queuing system where they, mm -hmm. they gave you a 10% coupon mm -hmm. valid that day only. Yeah. Thanks. But uh, <laughs> that is our list based on what we've seen for people's complaints mm -hmm. about 2017 Funkos. Like I said, it could easily be 50 or more yeah. because they made so many. Yeah. Really, the volume last year was insane. It was like 2,000 or more pieces. Yeah. Did so, you get the final numbers? No, I don't have the final numbers. Oh. I'm guesstimating. Oh, okay. I'm guesstimating, but it looks like it's going to be like around 2,000. Mm. But uh, <laughs> I know there's not too many people who can keep up with that. I hope they have the space. Yeah. But maybe you've got some other ideas. Yeah. What disappointed you last year? What did you like wait for oh god that's so great that's going to come out and you got to the store and you're like what the hell mm -hmm. what did you do or yeah. the god it was a lazy or bad paint or what was your what was your complaint mm -hmm. what do you think you can go ahead and put that in the comments section down below we do try to answer as many mm -hmm. of the comments as we can um please remember to like share and subscribe we always do appreciate a thumbs up yeah, Wonder Twins thumb up. <laughs> and if you are not a subscriber, now's a good time. Don't let the background fool you. Like I said, we are moving. Um, do not forget that I do have the cartoon parodies up, and another one will be coming up this week. Mm -hmm. I'll be putting an I'll be posting another one in the next few days <clears throat> that will follow along the misadventures of the masters of the universe as I see it. <laughs> and I wanted to get your opinion. What do you think about um, my doing demonstrations of classic video games? You know, I'm a vintage video game aficionado, and I can do, like, chapter-by-chapter -chapter walkthroughs. Anybody interested in seeing that? Let me know what you think, like Nintendo NES, uh, Sega Genesis, the classics. Let me know what you think of that. Anything else? Nothing. Mm -mm. Oh, well. I guess that'll be it for now, and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. All right. Calm down. Whiny. Come here. Let go. Seriously. Come on. <laughs> No claws. Turn around and look at the camera. Don't you want the folks to see you? I'll take that as a no.